to show you. This is the end of my supplies. So this box is open. I'll finish that one today. Basically, then I'll have Monday, Tuesday, no, like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> That's my last green box, and I think they're coming Friday, so I have just enough to make it. Ugh, I didn't know where to put those boxes because I was too tired to move them to the trash can, but... Yeah, that's crazy, huh? This whole wall was full of supplies, and now it's just down to that. But I get to see them on um, Friday, I hope. I think Thursday or Friday, so. All right. Um, I did come home and guess what happened? Yes. Like my two o'clock exchange, it, it did that thing again where it wasn't filling my bag. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I took the flangible. Let me show you. Flangible. And I was like going like this because I'm like, stupid thing. You know, <laughs> like, I don't even know. Half of me wants to like cut this and be like, clean it out and then like stick it together somehow. <laughs> like I'll be like, I'm good, you know, but that's that's not quite how it works because you're supposed to use this stuff. So I injected it with my needles. Which is weird. <laughs> so I put it in here. And um yeah, like put it in my bag, I should say. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit like brain fog because I have like a couple of things in my brain that that's Kind of going on so I had n another blood work done for potassium and EPO whatever whatever EPO is I, I kind of don't remember that I mean there's a lot to remember so you know um, but my potassium is up so I think last time it was like 3.3 and now it's 3.5 <laughs> so I still have to eat still have to keep up the potassium but that again, I saved myself, saved myself from um, having to take potassium pills. So I'm very proud of myself. And um, now I have to go in tomorrow at 8.30 and get an EPO shot. 
Uh, five o'clock when I drained, I did drain to 24. So that was a really good drain. Um, but I went ahead and put heparin in because now that I'm going to dwell overnight with it, that way it'll start breaking down any of the fibrin. And then hopefully tomorrow the strain will be good. I just, I don't know that I'm supposed to be doing heparin like all the time. But maybe that's just something my, my body's going to have to do. I don't know. But it's not a problem, really. Um, and it doesn't hurt, doesn't, doesn't do, like it doesn't feel like anything different when I have it in me. So I don't know. And then tonight I ordered food. Um, I, it's, I have to be pretty particular with the bar food, um, per usual, but I went and got a, a cheese quesadilla and then some mushrooms. And, um, I actually ended up giving my food most of it away because I ate like one little triangle of the quesadilla and I started to feel pretty nauseous. I, I don't want to throw up at the bar. <laughs> I don't know why. Like I don't feel sick. I don't feel nothing. Like I, I feel fine. Um, now here I'm like, oh yeah, the heparin does nothing to me. And now I'm like, could it be heparin? I wonder what would happen if I was allergic to heparin. I'll ask Beth. Like, do, is anybody ever allergic to heparin? And if they are, what would be, yeah, what, what would, you, what would that look like? And then what do you do if that's the case? Yeah, I'll ask her tomorrow. All right. Well, I better go to bed because I like I brain fog and I really appreciate you guys watching me and, um, accepting my craziness and my spontaneity and uh the unique journey that i'm on um and for just continually being there um because even though i i want to kind of pretend like this is educational for for those it's really a lot of self-healing and acceptance and realistic things because you know I can live in my own little bubble but you know just it's my new life so if I can share that with somebody and encourage them then my life will be for something <laughs> that people will remember that I tried my best to love everybody and to be accepting. And I haven't always done it perfectly. I have so much <laughs> that I have learned through my own fault and through other people and abuse and neglect and abandonment. But I have to say that even through all of that, which I haven't very shared very much of, maybe one day, I just want to be an example of overcoming and growing and getting through, getting through those times because we choose our lives. And I had lots of lessons learned. And I'm happy now. You know, there's there was a point in time where I was very sad. Um, but I've, I've turned that corner. I've pulled myself out of that darkness. And I'm happy. It's not always easy. But I truly am happy and I feel at peace inside. So it's a good life. Just have to roll with it. <laughs> Especially tonight, I got like so tired at the club. I was like, I just got to go home and go to sleep and just want to watch Clone Wars and be in my bed. So I think that's what I'll go do now. But you guys have a good night and I will see you tomorrow.